So I know you can get cheap trailers out there and modify them into fishing kayak trailers, but I already had a utility trailer that was rated for 3,000 pounds, and I don't have room for two trailers on my property. So I got to thinking, what's the best way to transform my utility trailer into a kayak trailer? My first thought was to build it kind of out of Unistrut, and then I started pricing Unistrut, and I was like, holy crap, hard pass on that. Then I started thinking, how about a ladder rack that goes on a truck? So the problem with the ladder rack and being on Facebook Marketplace, not a lot of people were willing to to give me the dimensions of it. So what I was looking for now was an adjustable ladder rack because I only want it to be 10 feet long. That would give me three points of contact for my PVC bunker bars. So after a couple of weeks of scouring Facebook Marketplace, I found one and the good news, it was new in box, still in the bubble wrap, worth like $479 on Amazon. Got it for 150 bucks. Got it home, prayed that all the parts were actually still there and good news, they were. So the first problem you run into with ladder racks is they're designed to sit on the edge of a truck so the bottom of it actually has a 90 degree lip and so what I needed to do is cut out a slit in the wood of the bottom of my utility trailer in order to get that to fit in there nicely so I grabbed my battery powered chainsaw and went to work. All right guys what I did is took a chainsaw to cut out a slit for this to fit in here. It's nice and perfect. I'm gonna do that to all four sides, and then I will screw those in. Might lag bolt them. Not sure. Not there yet. Just want to get this kind of set up. All right, moving on. All right, guys. Took the chainsaw. Had to be careful because under here you got metal bar support, so I had to go shallow on my cut. All right, guys, as you can see, got the four posts down in there. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna put this guy, put him up here. Get it right where I want it, make sure it's all flush, and then start tightening down all these bolts because I don't have any of these tightened down yet, so. Now after the cuts were made, I enlisted the help of my oldest daughter, Mercy, and this was the funnest part of the build. All right, so what are we doing with these? Um, we're gonna screw them into those holes. We're gonna put them in the holes. Yeah. So we have our drill, and I have the socket wrench, and Mercy has helped me take off the nuts, and then she's hammering them to the holes after I drill them out. We're a team. Yeah. High five. Ow! <laughs> Get the work. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All the way down. Easy. Easy. These are going to angle, I think. There you go. All right, now that I got the ladder rack installed, now I needed to install bunker bars on top of it that my kayak would sit on. And so I decided to go with PVC, and I know there's a lot of videos out there like, oh, you only need two to three inch PVC, but I decided to go with four inch PVC for my Bonafide, and this is why. When I went to go buy the PVC bunker bars, as you guys see here, see the PVC under there? Now, keep in mind, a lot of the tutorials out there will tell you to use a three inch piece of PVC, but if, it, when, if I were to do that, the bottom of my kayak would probably likely hit um, the bars up on my ladder rack. And so I bought four inch PVC, it's a little bit more expensive. But at the end of the day, what you wanna do, because every hull has a different design, mine are really deep, so I need that four inch PVC. Uh, you might be able to get away with a three inch PVC, which is gonna cost you, of course, a little less money. So. Uh, I'm gonna get that out from underneath my kayak, put it up on the bars, and show you how I'm gonna attach it. Now once I got all the measurements dialed in for the PVC, I decided the best way to attach these to the ladder rack would be through using U-bolts. This is how I did it. I went out and bought some, I believe there's two inch U-bolts and when i take these off i'll show you how i'm going to put attach it to the pipe here the easiest way that i could think of when you attach that so essentially like this there's six attachment points the front bar the middle bar and then the back bar back there so i'm going to take the u-bolt attach it underneath 
Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill hole, two holes in the bottom of the PVC, just on one side, not on both sides for the end ones. Then put this inside the pipe, put it in, put a little Loctite blue right here, and then tighten these down with probably a deep well socket to get it tight. So it's gonna work great on the ends where I just put a socket in there. In the middle, I'm gonna have to drill a hole through the center of the pipe so I can get a nut wrench down in the middle so I can tighten these up. So that's gonna be the only, there's gonna be four holes total in the PVC pipe by doing it this way. Now I did the measurement before I went out and bought the 10 foot PVC, but make sure you go out there. Uh, all ladder racks are different. This one was adjustable so I can make it kind of what I wanted. So in order to get the width right on those bunker bars, I'm gonna have to bring my kayak down on top of it and kind of do my measurements with the kayak on it. And then once I get the front and the back kind of squared away, I'll then work on the middle. So gotta bring my kayak back down on top. I had to turn this around because that's why we're loading it from the back and now I got to make sure that this is spot on center so I don't get any sway action when I'm moving down the road and so I'm going to take some measurements to make sure the center of the kayak is right equidistance from here and over here so I'm going to make make some marks mark the center on the back here mark the center on the front now what I'm going to do is go and take my PPC put it under there and just get it nice and centered, and then I'll make my marks. Then we'll attach the U-bolts and kind of get this thing fastened in. And then last, we'll do the center. All right guys, now I'm just gonna make some marks on the bottom of my PVC tube, where I'm gonna drill the holes in the bottom. Just make sure it's centered there. All right, I'll take this guy, put it inside. Nuts in there. Before I tighten these down, I already realized I'm not gonna be able to get my socket in here because the stems on this is too long. So I'm gonna to have to cut those off. So I'm just gonna mark it in here, kind of where I want it. Take those off. You can cut them in a variety of different ways. A hacksaw, grinder, sawzall. So I'm going to go grab one of those three, cut these down, and then allow me to get um, a shallow socket over top of that so I can actually tighten this guy down. I forgot to show you, this is my deep well socket. And as you can see, although I can get it over top, I'm never gonna get my tool up there. Just make sure that after you cut it, you're gonna take a wire brush and get a lot of those burrs off there. You're not gonna get the threading when you put, try to put that nut on. Let's go. All right, cut those down. Now you can see, I can get my small socket in here and tighten those up. So, gotta do it to all of them. Guys, now I got this where I wanted. When I push down this, where I'm gonna strap it, I'll probably put some carpet on the front as well uh, to make it nice soft, but perfectly along the pontoon style. And so what I'm gonna do is put a little blue Loctite blue tighten these bad boys up in the front and the back, and then I'll have to take the kayak off, then I'll get to the middle and tighten those down, and we'll be almost done. All right guys, putting in the middle ones, so I got the holes screwed down here. I don't know if you can see that. But now I need a, a drill bit that's gonna go all the way up through the hole and through the top, so, because I got a drill big enough hole for a nut driver in order to tighten that up in the middle of the pipe, so. Go ahead and go do that. This one's actually a masonry bit, but it's the other one big enough to drill a hole. Uh, I guess I could probably find a spade bit, maybe that small, but this will work. It's just PVC. Fairly easy. As here, I'm drilling out the holes from the top. Uh, basically, I took a long drill bit, shoved it through the top, and I gotta make the hole up here has got to be big enough to fit this half inch driver, a nut driver. Uh, so I put a little piece of tape on the inside of there, keep some friction to get the bolt in. So I will slide that down there and tighten it up. And now I got to find a way to get this, the center of the pipe. So I got a fiberglass wire running kit. I'm going to push this down right into place and to put the U-bolt from underneath the pipe and put my nut driver from above the pipe 
And it's gonna take some finesse, but we will get it done on both sides. As you can see here, this has a little hook in case I push it a little too far. I can pull it back. And when I get it centered up, I'll put this in the bottom and hopefully this will work. So here we go. All right, that was a little pain in the butt, as you can see down there. Just put my nut driver down there with a little piece of tape and got both of those all set. So this is nice and sturdy in the center. And heck, I can sit on this bad boy, take a nap. Not going nowhere. Perfect. All right, guys, got my carpet squares, got my bands. So, start putting these on probably unnecessary but I had the carpet and the bands weren't that expensive so I'll just kind of move these into place where I want them and tighten them up and they'll be a nice sauce I'll put some more back here the reason I'm doing this is because my ladder rack kind of dips on the sides in the middle it's a little bit high so this is gonna keep it up a little bit higher so when I do strap it down it doesn't bow my kayak kind of in half that's why I'm doing it but not necessary but I'm gonna do it anyways I got them putting the carpet on and now I'm gonna load up my kayak and get my straps right because I mount my straps actually to my trailer so I don't have to ever find them. They're always there and they're retractable. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that in a moment. But the beauty of this trailer, it's a tilt trailer. So what I'll do, push this down, makes it nice and easy. Take my fishing kayak. Slide it on up. Push it up. over the bar. Lift up. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Oh yeah. Walk over here with me. These are the straps that I'm going to use. They're retractable and I'm going to bolt them on to my trailer. So they're always there, it makes it really easy. I don't have to go find them, they don't get tangled. These are, one second, I got the box up here. All right, these, if you're wondering, are strapinos buy them they come four to a box that's what they look like I'll put the link in the description below let's go ahead bolt these guys on what I want to do right right here and go ahead and bolt that underneath this always sits here like so and then I can run it retractably up over my kayak to the other side where I might need to drill a hole in the metal but we'll decide that actually I got a hole in the metal right here I might go the other side so this can come around and hook right there so I don't have to drill another hole. In order to get to that bolt hole down here, you actually have to untie this entire thing, push this down, stick it in there and get it started. So go and do that. Going, kind of in there a bit. Gonna make sure this goes up and over. So if you put these type of ratchet straps on that retract, uh, make sure you line it up where your kayak's gonna be so it's not over like your thermoform that'll crack it so it's over the hole it's good right there and now comes down and hooks into the hole right here with nothing getting in its way i have seen so many videos where guys are like oh don't use ratchet straps use cam straps so you don't over tighten it and crack your kayak or whatever your kayak i got a novel idea for everyone out there how about this don't over tighten it huh crazy crazy my goodness you kidding me just don't over tighten it. No, don't over tighten it. Just go up here, put a finger or two underneath the strap, start tightening it down. And when you start feel that pressure, let it go. You're good to go. Using ratchet straps, doesn't have to be cam straps, especially because most of us probably have ratchet straps over cam straps anyways. So go ahead and utilize those. So I'm gonna go ahead, do it here, do it again down there. All right, now I got my straps on, up over, strap on back here, over the top. Down the other side. Now, this is a double decker, right? I want to get one on top and one right there. I'm going to put that guy 
this guy right here. Slide it right underneath, strap it in, see how it fits. straps did one here for my back handle over the side and maybe one of these guys a little safety so basically one of the hooks that I cut off a strap some bungee cord and so what I'll do run this through the middle and then up and now let's come around the side and hook it like that that way if the back strap fails this will not even though it's bungee if you stretch that out it will not, so it will not break or anything. So give me time to strap it back down. Just unstrap it. I'm off to fishing. Beautiful. Check it out. I am pumped. Double decker. Sweet. All right, guys, now that you've spent a lot of time and money working on your trailer, turning it from a utility trailer to a kayak fishing trailer, let's make sure this thing does not get stolen. And I got just a video for you, 12 tips on how to make sure your fishing kayak doesn't get stolen right there. <laughs> 